Hi, Mr. Casper Jack. I'm happy with the things you're saying. You're way better than Mr. Hommel. Anyway, <laughs> just kidding, Mike. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, mood. Mood is really interesting. Mood and feeling and even emotional impact in a game or in a story or whatever. I don't know how to phrase that, but just capturing that moment, making someone feel something, I guess. Uh, that's super interesting to me. I, I am constantly inspired by that. And anytime I, anytime you hear those violins in a movie or anything and you know, your eyes start welling up, like I wish I could recreate that in games. I, I really wish I could. And every time it happens, I think of it and I think, oh man, how can I put this into a game? How can I do this? And I don't know how. I don't know how to do it and it drives me nuts. Maybe one day I'll get it. Maybe one day I'll probably try to get it, but I don't even know where to start to get that. So that's definitely an inspiration of mine, an ongoing inspiration of mine that one day I hope to address. But it's probably a ways off still. So. I mean, I'm still a baby when it comes to game development, right? Like, you guys have been doing this, like, I don't know, am I the newest guy here? I think, I feel like I am. I'm still working out frameworks and uh, how to do things. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm still in the technical lead up, I guess. Anyway, emotion, interesting stuff. Wish I could do more with that. Uh, yeah, but I am, uh, like, things from real life excite me and I'd love to make um what was that climbing game grip or something or grep I, f I forget what it's called uh but it's that climbing game where you hold down the buttons and you have to keep the, your fingers pressed on the keys and swap them for your hands and your feet it's made by some indie dev I, f I forget I forget the game but um if that game didn't exist I hope that I would have thought to make it because I do really like rock climbing so rock climbing is an inspiration and it's not just the physical force it's not just the doing a bunch of chin-ups up a rock wall right it's not the brute force of climbing that interests me the thing that really really interests me in climbing as a sport is the technicality of it so uh, being very out of shape and having poor muscles and all that kind of stuff it's really interesting finding a way to climb a rock wall that utilizes your body's natural abilities without using up your muscle strength. So I think there's still a game in that. I think that's that's something that's got me excited. I, I want to do that. That that sounds so cool. Um, yeah, and uh, like the thrill of flying. Like that's I remember the first time I flew my own plane, and like that's that's a feeling I want to capture. That's an essence I want to capture in a game. Um, what else is there? Um, I like childhood nostalgia, uh, thinking back to, you know, all the fun times. And, uh, Tinker Toys. Tinker Toys haven't had a proper representation in the gaming world yet. I want to get on that someday. Hmm. There's just, like, an, an endless list. Like, there's so many things that get me excited in real life. Um, oh heck, the way sunlight filters through trees in summer like on a dry rocky riverbed like walking up that on a hike like just capturing that visual I'm getting excited about the way technology is going like I want to make a game based on walking under that canopy of that filtered green light like I'm getting chills up my spine now but that's what I mean by inspiration I mean because I play games, because I love games, because I'm inspired by games, I choose to exercise my inspirations in game form. But they aren't my inspiration. They're a means to achieve my inspiration. But maybe that's just me. Fair enough, if you are indeed only inspired by games and nothing else influences you, that's cool. Sounds kind of zen. <laughs> 